When you're buying a home, you're probably going to encounter a lot of words you haven't heard before, and you're also going to have a work to work with a bunch of people where you might not be sure exactly what they do based on their job title. Mortgage brokers are one that trip up a lot of first time home buyers, so today we are going to go into what a mortgage broker is and what exactly they do. Since a lot of the folks that you work with buy a home can sound alike, let's start off with who is not a mortgage broker. A real estate broker is not a mortgage broker. They just also have broker in the name. A real estate broker is a real estate agent who supervises other real estate agents. A mortgage lender is a company. It can be a bank, it can be a non-bank, but whatever they are, they directly make loans. So they're who will actually lend you the money to borrow a home. A loan officer, can help you get a mortgage, but only with the direct lender that they work for. So a loan officer, sounds like it could be another word for mortgage broker, different thing entirely. All right, that's who is not a mortgage broker. So what do mortgage brokers actually do? Mortgage brokers basically work as an intermediary on your behalf throughout the lending process to help you with everything from finding a lender all the way through to closing your home loan. So when you initially reach out to a mortgage broker, they'll go over your finances, you'll talk about what you need and what you're looking for, and then they'll go to their stable of lenders that they frequently work with, reach out to these contacts and find out what kind of loan options they can get you. They'll also try to negotiate on your behalf for better rates, better fees, stuff like that. And then they will come back to you with a curated list of loan options that you can then go over figure out which one works best for you and your circumstances. And then once you've started actually applying for the loan, your relationship with the broker doesn't end. Again, they stay with you all the way through closing. And so they will work with everybody who is involved in order to get that transaction done. They'll work with your real estate agent. They'll work with the title company. If a real estate attorney is involved, they'll work with them. And basically it allows you to be a lot more hands off throughout the process as they kind of smooth the way and guide you through every step. So with all of that, why wouldn't you wanna work with a mortgage broker? Well, a big reason is cost. Mortgage broker fees frequently range between one and 2% of your total loan amount. So say you were borrowing $350,000, that's going to be 3,500 to $7,000 that you're paying as a fee. You can choose to pay that as a closing cost, and that would be that much more money that you need to save up in order to close on your loan. And you could opt to roll it into the total amount of your mortgage, but bear in mind that when you do that, you're making the amount of your loan larger and you're also going to be paying interest on that sort of extra money. The other option is to have the lender pay for the mortgage broker's fee. Something that's important to know is that brokers cannot be paid by both. Either you pay them or the lender pays them and that is by US law. Mortgage brokers are a lot more regulated than they used to be. Uh, that comes out of the housing bubble bursting in 2010, 2011. Um, there were a lot of problems with mortgage brokers steering clients to lenders based on how much that lender was going to pay them. That's now completely illegal. It's not something that you should have to worry about, but you should be aware that when the lender is paying for your mortgage broker's fee, you are probably going to be absorbing some of that cost one way or another. Generally, the lender will build it into their own fees or they may, it might be reflected in the interest rate that they offer you. The other biggest reason that a lot of people these days don't use mortgage brokers is because a lot more of that information is just much more readily available to consumers than it used to be. You can just go online to sites like NerdWallet, look up information about lenders, you can see what kind of loans they offer, you can see their fees, you can apply, and that's all right there at your fingertips. That is very different from back in the day when getting a mortgage would have meant physically going to a bank, sitting down and talking with a loan officer, going through all of this rigmarole in person. In that case, yeah, a mortgage broker would be tremendously helpful. But these days, a lot of that legwork is really just finger work. So for a lot of people, it's not a big deal and they're comfortable doing that research on their own. So why would you wanna work with a mortgage broker? Really, it boils down to convenience. They do a huge amount of work on your behalf that you then don't need to do. You don't need to worry about it. And it's their job. They do this stuff every day. For most people, buying a home is something they'll only do a couple times in their lives. So you aren't regularly talking to mortgage lenders or comparing you know, different aspects of different loans. Mortgage brokers, this is their entire job. They are good at it. And 
they can help you with all of that stuff that's really unfamiliar territory. Mortgage brokers can also potentially help connect you to lenders that you wouldn't otherwise be able to reach. And that's because mortgage brokers are able to work with wholesale lenders. Wholesale lenders are a type of mortgage lender that doesn't work directly with consumers. They will lend to other types of direct lenders. So, you know, they'll lend to banks, they'll lend to credit unions, and they will also work with mortgage brokers. Wholesale lenders can sometimes offer discounted rates, lower fees, that kind of thing, because they aren't advertising directly to borrowers anywhere. And so this is something that you can't replicate with any amount of research, but that a mortgage broker could potentially hook you up with. There's no guarantee, but it's good to know that with a broker, that's another option that you're going to have. And really, it just is a huge amount of work off of your plate. And if you've got a situation going on where you have a lot of other stuff to deal with, say that the reason that you're buying a home is because you're moving across the country to start a whole new job, you've already got a ton going on in your life. And figuring out all of this home buying stuff is just like one more task on top of a zillion other things you're doing. If that's the case, the convenience of a mortgage broker might be more than worth the cost. A mortgage broker can be especially helpful if you're someone who has an unusual financial situation. And from a lender's point of view, you might be surprised what qualifies as an unusual financial situation. Something as simple as having a gap in your employment history, having a thinner credit file, not having as long of a credit history, or having income that comes from sources other than a W-2. So say you've got income that comes from stock options. That can be enough to trip up a lender, especially if they're going through a ton of applications at once. I know that when I was was buying my house, I wasn't working with a mortgage broker. I was just applying to tons of lenders online. And because I did have one aspect of my finances that was kind of weird, required a little bit of talking, a lot of lenders just threw me out right away. So if that's something that you don't want to go through, working with a mortgage lender can be a huge asset. They can get on the phone with their contacts at these lenders. These are loan officers that they work with every day and who they're comfortable talking with. And they can simply explain your situation and show that what you have going on is not a big deal. You're completely you know, competent, reliable, trustworthy as a borrower, and they can help just smooth that path and get you a yes and get you more options for lenders. And you know, when you're looking for a mortgage lender, comparing multiple options is the most helpful thing that you can do. And so, yes, you know, while you could say, all right, well, if it's talking to loan officers is what it's going to take, I'm just going to call some people on the phone. You can totally do that. But again, you know, you don't do it every day. You don't have that existing relationship. You don't have that trust. So it might not be exactly the same. And again, it's going to be a lot of work on your part. So bottom line, it comes down to weighing that equation of cost versus convenience, figuring out what matters more to you, and really, you know, going ahead and doing what it takes to get to that goal of homeownership. I'm Kate Wood, and I write about mortgages and home buying for NerdWallet. Today, we talked all about mortgage brokers, but if there's any home buying related topic that you're curious about, head to NerdWallet for all the tools and resources that you could possibly need. And if you learned something, like this video and subscribe for more.